Okay, and they're off in the girls' 800. Stanhope's taking it out early. Yeah, Stanhope with a quick and first Dvorak step there. And Dvorak is out as well. Dvorak, Stanhope, and Lynch on the inside is moving. So Stanhope's in the red. Dvorak has the yellow. It's a, it's a blue front and a yellow back. So yep. depending on the angle, it's going to look different. Okay, so that is Stanhope, and she, she just saw what happened, and she's not going to wait for it. She's going right away. So Stanhope leading Dvorak. Trying to keep contact, but about five or seven meters back. They're going out just as fast. 29 low, 28 high Whoa. for Stanhope. Lynch and Tate sitting on third and fourth. Right now they're just kind of riding on Dvorak's heels. But right now Stanhope is going for it. Big points potentially for West Lafayette if Tate in fourth right now in the pink top and black shorts could score some points. They really need some here. They could get some in the 3,200 later. So this is going to be another quick start, probably right around 61 or 62 here through 400. That is Elizabeth Stanhope and from Pike. She's going to be right at 60 six, flat. Six, yeah, 60 points. Maybe 61 flat. Then Dvorak and Lynch come through at 62, Tate 63, and that is in fifth. Marissa Rivera of Culver having a good run in fifth place right now. Can't find Wiley in the mix. It's a very, very hard double from the 1600. Although Lynch is right there. Well, they've got their sights set on Stanhope here. Okay, so yeah, Dvorak and Lynch are moving down the back stretch, coming up on Stanhope. Stanhope's still strong, but you can you can start to see that gap close a little bit. Dvorak is really driving. Stan and Lynch is on her is on her hip. One thirty two. One thirty two. Okay, but I'm I'm guessing they're going to close a little stronger that fast in the last hundred because they have people around them here. But Dvorak Dvorak still trying to come, but former starting to break down for everybody at this point. I think Rustin's time's going to hold up. Okay, so here's Stanhope Dvorak trying to change trying to close the gap. She can't make up the gap. But here she she is coming up a little bit. Okay, Dvorak's charging. She's Stan gonna Hope's trying to she's gonna run out of room. Stan Hope with a little bit of surge there. She might have been able to feel her coming on a little bit. But it's, it's gonna be a it's gonna, it's be, gonna be a new be right record. There. Yep. 206 Stan Hope, high. 206 high. Whoa. I think Russell's gonna end up 210, second. 210, 211, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Kind of secretly wow. five big points for wow. West Lafayette. <laughs> 206, 62. Okay. We just saw four girls break 210 today. We saw four girls break 210. That is phenomenal. That is a new state meet record for Elizabeth Stanhope. She was fourth in all time. She got bumped down to fifth. Now she's back up. Wiley was. I guess I just lost her in the mix of that. Wiley was sixth in that race, so seventh overall. We have a new track. 214 for Duffus is going to end up 10th. Yeah, that's not going to. That won't medal. That will be one. Yeah, one away. Well, it's a fast wow. time, not the medal. 214 yeah. Well, high. Yeah. A good day for Abby Lynch. She's going to be Man. second in the 1600 and fourth in the open 800. That's phenomenal. What a, what a run. So, essentially, Russell and Stanhope had to run the same kind of race. Even though Stanhope had people closer to her, neither one of them had anybody to help them. They went it's, from the gun and took it. Yeah, It's unfortunate that we didn't end didn't up seeing see them, them together. in the same section because... It may have even been faster. Elizabeth Stanhope of Pike is your state champion, the senior, bringing home the blue medal and a new state meet record.